Hello everybody and today we tell how we tell this Sony Digital Mavica MVC FD83 camera down so let's get started. So first you need to take out the screws from the outside on the outside. A few screws down there. And I think, <laughs> and I think that's it for the screws. Yep. As you can see, the as you can see, the the camera just split into half, like this. And this the um, <laughs> and this the um flash capacitor. Whatever you do. Don't touch this with your bare hands, or or you or you will get a shock of your life. But anyway, this is interesting. So this part is the is the floppy drive, which I can pop off the connectors. And so this is the whole floppy drive itself. This is a four X drive, so pr pretty fast, I think. It's better than one X, that's for sure. And this screen is broken, so that's why I tear it down. <laughs> and and here we are. This is the camera part. <laughs> it's quite small actually. It's only about yeah, this thick. Let's unscrew the main board. And let's also unscrew this flash capacitor. This middle piece. And this connector, this connector right here. There we go. There we go. The lens is now free. And the main board is, all, is also free. And this cable is for the focus ring, which is this one right here. Rolling coder. So let's leave those apart for now. And this is the main board. So let's take so let's take a, a closer look at the board. <laughs> On the back, we have <laughs> passive components such as resistor, capacitors, inductors, <laughs> and some chips. And there is and it's also a TI chip. 
Also some oil chip right here. I suspect this one is for image is for the processing of images. This CCD 1000 watt chip right here. And on the front we have many chips. There you go. And the one and the, the bottom chips. Some kind of Sony chip, NEC chip, flash, RAM maybe. I really don't know. This chip all look this chip all look alike. And this is probably the main processor. And that's it for the main board. Up next, here's the lens. <laughs> as, as you can as you can see, the lens is pretty small. <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a camcorder lens, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it does look like it. And let's open this image sensor right here to see what's what's on the other side. And this lens, and this lens is just three times optical zoom. So, yeah, you so you you don't have too much, so you don't have much much zoom on this. And there we go. This is the image sensor. To be honest, this looks like this looks like a um a normal an old Sony an old Sony camcorder image sensor. It looks just 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 like one. So maybe they're using an off-the-shelf part. I really don't know. Anyway, that's the image sensor, <laughs> and this is the lens. No stabilization at all, except for maybe that focus. And we should see what's under here. It's probably ju just a bunch of circuit for um uh, for the flash. As you can see it's here. So let's try not try not to touch it, cause I don't know if, if if the flash is charged or not. Yep, there we go. So this is the flash circuit. You can focus. And as you can see, on the on the flash board, we have some we have some capacitor, um transformer, inductors, the flash itself, which is the yellow part, and some component named 5G103. And some capacitor, diodes, and LED. And these two terminals are for the flash are for the flash cap. So pretty module I must say. <laughs> and this is just and this is just the um, power management for power management board for the for the for the L size battery. And that's it. Thanks for watching.